Today we're opening up a $1,100 Pop King Paul Funko Pop Mystery Box. You heard that right. This box cost $1,100. This is an expensive mystery box. Not for the faint of heart. High roller kind of mystery box. Big grail mystery box. Before we get into this though, you know what we gotta do, right? We got an appetizer we gotta dive into. So to start the video, we're gonna do a appetizer from a mysterygrail.com. This is a $15 lower price point, interlevel kind of a mystery box. You're just getting out a pop in here. It could be worth five bucks, it could be worth 50 bucks. It's only $15. The pop comes in a brand new seven bucks pop pop shield pop protector. If you want to get yourself your very own seven bucks pop pop shield pop protectors, they'll be drilling down below to seven bucks pop.com. Make sure you check them out. You can get 100 pop protectors for a fantastic price. They have pop armors. I love their pop armors. Those are a Cadillac of pop protectors. Check them out. Link down below. So each one of these is going to have a pop and a pop protector. You're going to get some candy and a scratch off card. You win bonus prizes. So these go on sale every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern time only on mysterygrail.com, which is a sister company of sendbuckspop.com. You ready? Let's do this. I've not hit a grail. I've never hit the mega grail. There are some grails worth like 500 bucks in these boxes. I've hit small grails worth like 50, 60 bucks, but nothing that's like mega grail. It's a day of the day. Not a mega grail, but hey, I will take that. I collect Michael Jordan pops. Look at that. I will take that in a heartbeat. Michael Jordan Target exclusive in that old 1985 style Chicago Bulls jersey. I will take this one. I think this is actually vaulted now too. I'm going to look up PPG value on this just to kind of guesstimate the possible value. I own a few of these already. Coming in, that's funny, coming in exactly at $23. And it is vaulted. So yeah, this will go into the rest. I have I have a lot of Jordan Pops. I've never gone out myself and hunted them down and bought them like individually. I have probably 50 Jordan Pops all out of mystery boxes and collections that I purchased, like entire pop collections. But I've never gone out and, and actually hunted down any Jordan Pops because I get them in mystery boxes. But yeah, I freaking love that Jordan Funko Pop. I'll take that in a heartbeat. To me, that's a huge W right there. Here we go, scratch off card. Got an additional 200 bonus tokens to use on the website. I'm coming up at 60,000 tokens. I'm just like a thousand or so token shy of 60,000 tokens. I'm getting in, into the range now of being able to cash those in for a big boy kind of like $500 grail pop. I'm getting very close. But you, you know what though? It's time for that box. Full details of this. This shipped back on, it shipped September 3rd. So that's like what, four months ago? I actually, I have two of these left. I bought a total of four when these, when these, when these came out. I opened two within the first month and these two got kind of buried and forgotten about. And I found them last week when I was trying to rearrange some stuff. I was like, I've got $2,000 mystery boxes left. Wow. Full details of this. This was called the PKP's All Treats, No Tricks, Holy Grail Mystery Box. Details. $1,100 per box. 15 total boxes. I bought four out of the 15. I bought a good chunk of them. Two to four pops per box. The weight of them, I'm guessing there's four pops in there. Two packs and four packs count as one pop in this round, but two to four pops per box. Prices were taken for Hobby DB September 2nd, so prices were four months ago, so prices could have fluctuated up and down. Boxes range in value between $1,050 to $1,690 at the time of boxing, so almost $1,700 top box you can get like what six hundred dollars more than what you paid that's pretty freaking good all right or you can lose 50 bucks a box in value so it's almost a guaranteed value mystery box at the time of packaging guarantee at least two pops from the picks provided and there are other surprise grails in this drop as well that are not pictured no pops under 105 dollars in value were used in these boxes there are no trash pops this is nothing but grails in these boxes nothing but grails whoever hits the turtle four pack you'll receive a note in your box so message me on either instagram or facebook messenger same name and that pop will be sent to you separately because the pop's big the teaser picture my first two pops or my first two boxes i opened up i think i hit the leonidas 
I've already sold that one in a whatnot live auction. I hit the Leonidas and I hit, I think it was the Jason Glow Chase. Does that sound right? Those were like my two big hits, I think. So I don't know if anybody's claimed the top hits yet. The top hits are the four pack turtles, the Billy SDCC Saw, the Leonardo F NFT, and the two pack Joker. Those are the top four hits. But below that, though, as you see in this picture, there's some crazy hits. There are, there is nothing that is junk in this box. Nothing but great. Let's ready to do this. More likely, this is double box. For this value box, you want to have as much protection as possible for shipping. And it is double boxed. Box in a box. Here we go. Even the box is even bubble wrapped. Okay, so I'll show you the seal. Still all sealed up from Pop King Paul. Sealed up. The weight. It's actually a pretty evenly weighted box. No quarter is like crazy, like extra weight. That's intriguing. What does that mean, I wonder? Because usually these boxes, like one corner will be like, wow, this, this one has a pop armor or a pop stack. It's pretty even all the way around. Maybe this has maybe a little bit more, not much, but I think I think everything in this box is in some kind of a stack, either a hard stack or a pop armor. That's what it feels like. Here we go. Ready to do this? One thousand one hundred dollar Funko Pop mystery box, holy grail mystery box from Pop King Paul, the king of mystery boxes. Here we go. You ready? I don't want to peek. I don't want to look. Pull back bubble wrap. Feel around. Ooh. There's a pop armor that's in a two pack. Did I hit the Joker two pack? That is a, feels like a pop armor. That's a two pack. I, uh, did I hit the Joker two pack? Here we go. This one is in like, Oh, this okay. But say this is this one is in like a uh, like another box. But this is the Captain America. I'm gonna keep this thing sealed up. This is the the original wrap that came from Funko. This is the 2021 SDCC Captain America, the metallic Captain America, or not 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 metallic, but the uh, like the cast iron, whatever thing's called, the metal thing. PBG 125 day of packaging. I'm gonna keep this in the original Funko wrap because it's that way. As, as it sits and the box is going to be all sealed up. So I'm sure you can't really see it very well through the packaging, but it's the, um, the kind of like the die cast Captain America, the first die cast that they came out with 125. So that means this pop is going to be worth possibly like around a thousand dollars by itself, by itself. That's going to be a big hit. It's got to be that Joker two pack. It's got to be. You ready? Let's find out. Oh, it's not the Joker two pack. It felt like it felt like a two pack, but it's a big. It felt like a two pack because it, it was on its side. I kept feeling like the long. It had it. It was in like that. It totally, it totally tricked me. I think this is one of the top hits to get out. That is the SDCC 2014 Bloody Billy Glow in the Dark. That is a big boy grill right there PPG the day of packaging was one thousand one hundred and twenty dollars that's big and through the pop protector this thing looks to be in fantastic condition that thing looks very minty through the through the official seven bucks pop pop armor yeah these are in, in there in there like that i kept feeling like this it tricked me because I thought it was a two-pack. Captain America diecast. This is the summer convention shared sticker. Day of package is $125. Now it's coming in at $140. It's gone up in value $15 since the day of packaging. I'm gonna keep it like this. This actually is how it came from Funko with all wrapped up like this. And it comes in like a in like a box and it comes in like a hard stack. You can take the top off and it's like a die cast Captain America. It's actually pretty cool. $140. And last one. 
and the big boy grail the SDCC 2014 only 2,500 pieces glow in the dark Billy has taken a huge hit in value some of these big boy grails um, they can fluctuate in value this says it's only worth 800 bucks now 1120 down 800 it didn't lose 300 bucks in four months probably not probably what happened honestly on eBay some fakes were sold because PPG takes the average from eBay there was probably some fakes that sold and it kind of screwed up the PPG value so we got to do on the PPG app on the hobby DB app kind of look at the highest sale with the lowest sale so in the past 180 days it says the average sale is $1,018 that's the average sale in the past 180 80 days the low was 700 that is what skewed the number and the high for the past six months was 1600 the low was 700 the average is 1018 so that low of 700 dollars that messed up the pbg value and once people report that that sale which was probably for a fake one on ebay it made everything else drop in value but once that's reported they'll fix the price and this will go back up to around what it is right there so sometimes hobby db they can be incorrect because all it takes is one outlier sale either way too high or way too low it can absolutely crash the price or skyrocket it out of nowhere you've seen it going on quite a bit the past couple months it's been very strange so this one got hit with a super low sale tanked the price but it's not an actual real sale it doesn't make any sense i know other people have talked about this on a youtube channel i i never have much but yeah this thing is still worth over a thousand dollars way over a thousand bucks at least eleven hundred dollars or so so yeah this box i spent eleven hundred dollars i say this this one is still worth a solid we'll even say a thousand dollars plus this i got over what i paid i got a huge grail and yeah this is like a real life scenario that PPG can be incorrect. Whenever you see a price fall that much in a few months, look at your past six months of your average price, your low and your high, and you can see exactly what happened. One sale tanked the price. Once that gets fixed, price goes back up. But anyway, does that make any sense to you? Comment down below if I confused you. I kind of confuse myself half the time. I'm not the best at explaining things. That makes sense to you? Let me know down below. And that's a big boy hit. Once again, Pop King Paul killed it in this mystery box. Very happy. I got one more of these left still. Maybe next week. Maybe next month. But you'll see it soon.